exactly. I mean, think about it like this, right? Construction guys, guys who work on the roads, who make bridges, houses, whatever. Important jobs. What are they backbone doing? Backbone of America. They are backbone of America. What are they doing? What are they doing on site? Mm, they're smoking. They're smoking. They cement. smoke on site. And who talks about the most hours a week they work anytime you see them? We do. Construction guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but he's right, though. They're like, I worked Thank 16 you. hours yeah. today. You know why? Because they're smoking. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So, sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Welcome back to another episode of The Cigar Guys. I am your host, Alexander Gonzalez, with my contributor. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> oh, fuck. Cutting my cigar? <laughs> Um, he's trying to get us taken off of YouTube with Mark Nikolai, Jared Burroughs, and the perfect cut. Zachary Nikolai, who is playing with the microphone for some reason. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for tuning into the Cigar Guys video on YouTube and Spotify, audio on everything else. Can you make a V cut with a saw? Probably that would be impressive. Do you want me to try it on yours? No, I already cut mine. So. Do you still V cut it? Well, you V cut yours then. Great point. You're the one that's asking for it. No, I want to see you do it. Oh, so you want to see me mess up my cigar, but you don't want to mess no, up no, yours? No, I would never want you to mess up a cigar. That's blasphemy. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I want you to do a very good job creating a V cut with the saw. But if you're the guy that wants a V cut, why can't I cut your cigar? Because I don't like V cuts. Then why are you asking? Because I think you're capable of doing so, but you're incapable of following instructions. <laughs> so like, you're not, you're not going to do it. <laughs> Some reason not doing it. I don't know. I'll do it on your cigar. Are we having a podcast by ourselves? So this is the Mark and, <laughs> Mark and Jared podcast today. The MJ podcast. <clears throat> We're we'll be talking about all Michael Jackson related topics. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be. be a good episode. Why not? So you guys should have a hacking web page and call yourselves the MJ Hackers, and you always leave a picture of Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, every time you deface a website? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> he is. He, went, he was on CNN that one time. <laughs> oh, you're right. I, I know exactly. The burnt guy? Yeah, the burnt guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're not talking about Michael Jackson today. We are talking about... USA. Weird We're talking smoking. about Michael Jordan. <laughs> we're talking about... Weird smoking laws around the country, around the world. Uh, we brought this up in a previous episode, actually the last episode. Um, we were Zach was talking about cigar laws in Utah, and it inspired an idea to go over a bunch of different laws. A lot of feedback here <laughs> of different laws um, pertaining to smoking, cigar smoking specifically. Uh, so we're just going to go down the list and kind of talk about each one. Is that cigar lit enough for you, buddy? <coughs> All right, relax. <laughs> so who wants to start us off? USA! USA! Did you USA. know it's illegal to smoke and walk in Arkansas? Or Little Rock, Arkansas? Is that true? Did you know that you basically skipped one, even though we kind of already talked about this one last episode? Arkansas? No. Exactly. You're not paying attention. That's why we're talking about it. Right now. Okay, so we're going to start with cities slash states in the United States. Yep. Looking at it now, I feel like not all the information is on there, but... It's double-sided. It's okay. No, I know it's double-sided. I'm saying we had different cities in California now that I'm on here. What did you do, Jared? Uh, it was approved <clears throat> by you. Technically, I didn't look at it, so I technically didn't approve it. You told me to, to delete the other cities right before we came here. I can legitimately open my laptop right now, hit control Z and prove this. <laughs> no, that I, I know is a fact. All right, whatever. Let's just read the first. God one. damn it. Zach, can you start us off, please? Holy <clears throat> Utah. 
Utah, dry county, dry state. A lot of Mormon people there. They don't like drinking. Um, <laughs> you know, what, what, what are you doing, Utah? You what are you ski. doing, Utah? You ski. Yo, and stay that, ski. And that brings us Dang. to our point. What are we drinking? What is it? What do we got here? It's um, Augustus and Barnaby. Barnaby. Augustus and Barnaby. Single cast, single malt scotch whiskey, bottled exclusively for the whiskey trail, Royal Mile in Edinburgh, aged eight years. Palette, gooseberry, kellen, and caramel. I don't know what kellen is, but. That's what I thought, yeah. Gooseberry. You didn't even try it. Okay, cool. Anyway, Utah. So in Utah, smoking lounges are exempt from the state indoor smoking ban, uh, but they cannot serve food or beverages, including alcohol. So you cannot have a cigar lounge that serves alcohol. Um, there is ways around it. Uh, the law makes a typical cigar lounge experience quite different from what we might have experienced mm. before. But like I said previously in an, an older episode, there are ways around it. You throw a party, you throw an event, whatever. So food and beverage are free, you know, so then you go smoke around back. Everyone's seen the viral TikTok. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then you're able to do it. So they kind of treat it more like you can't smoke in a cigar lounge, but if it's a members only. It's it's a it's a herf. It's a herf? It's a herf. Oh, you don't know? Jerry knows. Jerry knows what a herf is. <laughs> so we, we were on the herf podcast. I actually never heard that term until we were on the podcast, to be honest with you. What does that mean? It's exactly what he just said it was. Oh, my God. A herf? A herf is like when a bunch of cigar people... Herf together. Get together and smoke cigars. I don't know if I like that term. I don't like B-O-L-T either, but... Or B-O-T-L. What is that? Brother of the Leaf. Breaking that. Oh, God. Well, I, I can't like we- we get a lot of slack for that, but I don't care. I think it's stupid. I feel like when you start adding nickname stuff, then it gets a little silly. Yeah. Like, we're just guys... Hanging out, smoking cigars. Yeah. ATF. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> IRS. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those are acronyms. Uh, same thing. You don't, I mean, I call it ERS and a tough. Those are words. Okay. So, what were we talking about? Utah. Zach was in Utah once. He absolutely loved it, from what mm-hmm. I've heard. I did like it, minus the cigar smoking. You know, but we had an Airbnb, so I was allowed to smoke outside. Mm. Um, or on top of a mountain, you know, either one. But, yeah. Can you stop? What? Burping in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It literally was you. I was clearly smoking when you looked at me. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so rude. I'm sorry, Zach. No, that's all right. But they kind of treat it like a, a members-only thing. If you're, like, a member-only... You could go smoke inside in a private area that's separate from the actual cigar lounge. Uh, but to be a member, you got to buy a cigar. You know what I mean? So it's mm. like... But you buy a cigar from a different establishment. I don't know if they allow that. I think you... I mean, I'm sure, like, you're a regular. They don't care. Um, but... No, I'm saying, like, it's a different establishment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then from yeah. where, like, the lounge is. Yeah. yeah. Like, they had a door between them, but it was a locked door. Like, customers couldn't use it. It was only staff that was able to use gotcha. it. Gotcha. Um, oh, and then, so there can only be one employee in the building, according to that law. So maybe that's, like, why it's like, oh, the employee can go in, but it can only be one employee at a time. I don't know. It, that's a, that's it, a it weird did say role. that before uh, we merged all the data. It said that you can have um, one employee total in the building that's, like, Smoking? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't see how that would stop or... I don't know. I guess maybe limit how many people are in there because they would assume you'd want to keep an eye on your customers. I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. That's pretty interesting. And then Jared brought up uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, That's true. Jared, please. Tell us about Little Rock, Arkansas. I mean, we can just scroll back a few minutes, but... Um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So basically, there's a historical ordinance where you can't like smoke and walk at the same time. You have to be still, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Because people text and drive <laughs> all the time, text and walk all the time. 
think yeah. that does. I, I no. think it's probably for like littering reasons. Probably. Because when you smoke a cigarette and you know you just flick the cigarette bud. Yeah, but if you're sitting on a park bench smoking a cigarette, you can still flick it. True. I think it's more of to not bother like the people around you. Like you're not a mobile smoke machine. I think that's more of the reason why. I feel like it could just be, I don't know, distraction. You don't walk in the middle of the street, maybe. Yeah, me personally, when I walk and smoke a cigar, I get super distracted. Yeah, like the smoke gets in my face, like I can't see anything. Yeah, one time I was walking with a cigar and I just ended up in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's going to happen today. <laughs> I mean, you bring up a good point, though. Like, you can text and walk around. You well, can text and drive. But Historically, it's on the books, but it's not strictly enforced. So. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I doubt a cop's going to be sitting there waiting like, he's smoking. Yeah. Imagine getting arrested because you're <laughs> smoking while walking. <laughs> There are, yeah, a lot of these laws are going to be like, oh, it's um, technically law, but it's not strictly enforced or anything like that. So um, some of these laws are weird. Some of them are kind of normal, maybe, or maybe there's a good reason behind it. But um, our next state might not be one of those good ones. So, Mark, what's the next one? California. They have banned smoking in multi-unit housing, affecting apartments and condominiums. Hmm. The law includes smoking inside one's own residence if it shares a wall with another unit. So we actually couldn't be smoking right now, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Because we technically share a wall with another unit. I feel like that makes sense with apartments because, right, they're small and stuff. And usually the walls are, like, super thin. So, like, if you're smoking, like, the other neighbors are going to smell it. That's free smoke. But you can't smoke outside, though? Like, on your balcony? you You should be able to, yeah. Or you can't. Just saying you can't. Yeah, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want, man. This is America. <laughs> Goddamn right. But I mean, I would imagine that if you're smoking in your apartment, you'd be worried about the. Oh, inside, yeah. I mean, I I don't think a lot of places in Florida allow you to smoke inside an apartment. Yeah, I doubt it. You probably lose your safety deposit. Yeah. But that's not really. Is that a law thing or is that like a apartment regulations kind of thing? I don't. Probably I don't more know. Of an apartment thing. I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I really don't know. Yeah, you lose, you lose your security yeah. deposit. I mean, it makes sense in California, though, because, like, mm, you know, wildfires. well, that, right? But not even that, like, the air in California mm. causes cancer, <laughs> right? So why would you want to go smoke a cigar in California? Uh, yeah, double well, cancer. Because you know? the smoke in California is worse than in the other 49 states, just like the air is, you know, Prop 47, uh, whatever. Yeah, 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 it yeah. falls into the same thing. This is good whiskey. You like it? Yeah, it's- I think Actually, it's, it's scotch. Scotch. It, it's it's honestly super smooth for only being aged eight years, and it's like just the right amount of smoky, you know. Yeah, it's pretty sweet too. Like mm. not too sweet, but is it smoky because you're smoking? Uh, n- no. Oh, okay. What do you think, Jared? I haven't had a chance to try it yet, so oh, okay. First sip. He's still savoring that Macallan that he had earlier. Could you even take a sip? Zach? I took a big sip. But <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> did it you, is did you good. try any? What? Did you try any? I feel like you just pretended like you were taking sips. I think sips. he's trying to pace himself this time. Why is he avoiding the question? It's just, it's just a simple question, Jared. What? I, I, think, I just said it's good. He said I'd try it. I said it's good. <laughs> yeah, but well, it, it's you're not good. convincing. Yeah, it's not convincing. Because you just said it's good. He said it's good. I said it's good. Okay, but how would you compare it like to between McAllen 12 Belvini 14 and McCallan 18. I'd say definitely closer to McCallan 12, not Belvini. I think it's really good. Mm. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think it goes good with a cigar. Um, nope. We got next state that you know pretty well. Uh, oh, me personally, Oklahoma. True, I do. I am familiar with the state. Oklahoma. Where'd you go to school for a little bit? Was that Oklahoma? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. I feel like I would have corrected you on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Oklahoma, you cannot smoke in any indoor or public establishment, right? Is that true, Alex? Let me finish. Yeah, he needs to read this whole thing because I'm curious too. You're, you're curious if I get it right without looking at it? No, I'm curious if this is right, but go ahead. Oh, uh, oh. Uh including bars or restaurants, right? Cigar bars are exempt 
uh, if they generate 10% or more of sales from cigars. So if you just have a bar, you know, like down here in Florida, you had a bar not serving food, you could smoke in it, no problem. I'm assuming this says that you could not smoke in a bar over there unless it's an actual cigar bar that sells more than 10% of cigars. Any indoor public place or workplace, including bars and restaurants, which is funny because I went to a restaurant, it was a steakhouse, and in the back they have a smoking room. Mm. So I'm curious how the loophole in that one works. Did it have a door to the room? Yeah, it was, it was literally like you're inside the steakhouse and then you walk into the smoking room. Yeah, but it's a separate you know, place, right? No, it's inside the building. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's, a, a it's door. closed off. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's closed, closed off. off. Yeah. It's like in Europe, you could send a smoking section or not smoking section. True, but if you open the door, like theoretically, the smoke could maybe get out unless they have really good smoke eaters. We uh we went to a restaurant in Kosovo that was like on a mountain, and their smoking section was all glass, and it looked over mm. the mountain, and um. You know, I mean, the weather is beautiful over there, like, 90% of the year. So, uh, like, when people started, like, smoking in there, they would just, like, open up all the doors and it'd just be, like, outside. It was really nice. Hmm. Speaking of weather, did you guys see that Dubai stuff? <laughs> yeah, actually. It's crazy. Oh, is Dubai on here? I think it is. I it is. It. Oh, actually, that'd be a good transition. We'll talk about that later. It's all the way at the end. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Teaser. Okay. Austin, Texas. What's going on over there? Um, Austin city ordinance restricts smoking in public parks. I feel like that's not too outlandish. There's some that do that. With violations carrying fines, a move aimed at maintaining public spaces free from smoke for all visitors. That makes sense. Yeah. I think the whole public place thing kind of makes more sense than a lot of the other regulations we've seen, but... Yeah, it makes sense until you want to do a cigar van. You're like, what do you mean we can't smoke here? Mmm... That's true. But then would it become a private space? Yeah, I guess if it's closed off, you know, block party. That's a good point. Yeah. You're renting the space, therefore it's now private. Interesting. So those are five from the USA. We're going to talk about some other places around the world. Some places are cool. Some are not. Some we <laughs> heavily support in military defense, uh, like the next one that we're talking about. Our, our neighbors in the north. Crazy coconuts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Canada. French, French Canadians. French Canadians. Canada. And Saskatchewan. Um, <laughs> smoking is banned in all public areas, including outdoor patios. Uh, this extends to cigar smoking, which means enjoying a cigar on a public patio, even outside, is prohibited. So we are so, not visiting there. So you no. can't, that just means like public patio, like a restaurant patio or like, like not your own patio. Yeah. yeah. It says all public places. So no, no, um, well, so a restaurant would be a public place, right? That'd be private. Uh, Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, I think it'd be public. Yeah. And really? that, that, that is crazy coconuts. I swear. I don't, I don't get the reference. <laughs> from like these you weren't there. From where? He was there. <laughs> no, he left. No, he left. Oh, he did oh, leave. Yeah. yeah, you do not get that reference. Inside joke. <laughs> Mark doesn't know. Neither do our audience. Maybe one. Maybe one audience member. <laughs> <laughs> a few, maybe. There were a few people that witnessed it. That is it. true. There were, yeah. This episode might be playing in the place where it happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we got Montreal next. Montreal prohibits smoking within nine meters. Can we get that in freedom units? Uh, nine meters. I don't know what that means. Yeah. That's about 10 yards. Um, what is that in feet? <laughs> feet? That's uh, 30 feet. Well, 30 feet would be a yard, right? Yeah. Okay, what? So no, three feet three a feet. yard. Sorry. Th three feet a yard, yeah, 10 yards. Yeah, three feet a yard. 10 <laughs> yards. Okay. So that's 30 feet. 10 times 3. Okay. Mm. Quick mass. Big brain. That's why How many feet are in a mile? 5,280. Frick, I messed up. Yeah, it's like 5,200. And I used to something. know this by heart. 81. How many yards are in a mile? 
divide that by three. How many, <laughs> how many football fields are in a mile? How many football fields are in a mile? Yeah. But it's got to be like <laughs> at least two. <laughs> it's 100 yards. So you divide by 100, right? You're going to go yards? You just about yards. I, I think you misunderstood the question. 15. You 30. said how many feet? Then you said how many yards in it's a like mile? It's like 1,700. Yeah, but there's 1,700 yards in a mile. No, he's asking how many football fields. That so literally makes sense. sense. Well, football yard. And there's 100 yards. How is there 5,000 plus in a mile, feet in a mile? And Divi- then you're going to divide that, that by three. Yeah, divide by three. Which That's is yards. like 1,700. That's yards. What are you talking about? You're dividing feet into yards? No, he's converting, converting. feet to yards. There's three feet See, in a yard. Correct. Okay. So if, let's just say. There's 500, <laughs> or let's just say there's 5,300. Did you say 17,000 or 1,700? 1,700. 1700. Okay, my bad. God. God. That one's on me. I'll, that one's on me. I'm going to leave Ooh. it to the engineers. It's, it's, I, I was waiting for the... Yeah, but know. he's a software engineer, so he only measures in like ones and zeros. He's <laughs> still accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened in Montreal? Uh, <laughs> Uh, about about nine to ten yards. Uh, you can't smoke within nine to ten yards of any door, window, or air intake of buildings open to open to the public, including bars or restaurants. Oh my God! Uh, and it impacts outdoor smoking areas that are popular among cigar enthusiasts. Okay, so we can't smoke outside of a bar, like right outside of a bar, or outside of a home. Yeah, you gotta go around the corner. Maybe that's why they have a lot of like street crime. But you got to make sure there's no like air duct. Around I the thought corner. that was like the the air, the cigar smoke intake. I just mm. blow it in there and it pulls it in. Paid by the paid for by the city. Yeah, yeah it cleans it up. Yeah, I thought it cleans the air. I mean, that would make sense if they're looking for clean air. Yeah, I just smoke next to trees. Oh yeah, yeah. So the trees <laughs> could suck in the yeah, carbon yeah, dioxide. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. It does make sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. You've been here, right? Technically, I've been in the UK, but I have not been in Scotland, which is in the UK. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and tackle this one? or Sure. You I know. mean, I mean, we really could have combined Canada, UK, like... Just put, like, the, the royal family or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other regions, like... <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> actually, all these. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, B- Bhutan. Yeah. The comment section is going to be wild. So... I hate that these buttons are switched, but it's okay. So in Edinburgh, Scotland, crazy, we're drinking something from there. Um, Edinburgh has specific regulations that ban smoking within 15 meters of hospital buildings. Okay, that's like pretty common, actually. Yeah, yeah that, that makes, makes sense. sense. That's yeah. not a weird law. What do you mean? Skip. I can't smoke while I'm in the hospital? Skip. I think 15 meters is a little harsh, you know, a little rough. Including the grounds which would impact anyone trying to enjoy a cigar on hospital premises. Damn well, it. I, I, I love doing Jared, that. Jared, how did I love doing here? that. Yeah, how did this stay in? But then, like, I love smoking on cigar premises. Exactly. Uh, on hospital. Premises. You also had weird laws in California that were specific, but I guess they just disappeared. Who who got rid of them? It was, our, it was our intern. Them. Our intern. You're right. Sorry, Jared. I I don't mean to blame you. What what's her name? What's her na- intern's name? Jessica. Is it Jessica? Mm-hmm. I thought it was Alexa, but uh, close enough. Close enough. They both end in ka. He. They both end in. Okay, cut. so that was dumb. Mm. Like Asia, uh, Singapore. Singapore is in Asia. It is in Asia. That's next on the list. Sounds good, oh. guys. Someone gonna read it or? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I got a random text from a random number. God, not again. <laughs> Singapore. Singapore is known for its strict smoking laws. Smoking, including cigars. <laughs> Is also is only allowed in designated smoking areas and smoking outside these zones can lead to hefty fines. Mm. So it's like one big theme park. But you know what I feel like it is though. I feel like you know, um, like business guys or whatever. You know, because they smoke a lot of cigars. You know, and I feel like they could smoke in like a lot of indoor places. I feel like there's a lot of like private lounges. Yeah. Uh, where you could smoke, you know, or clubs or whatever. For sure. Um. Because, you know, you have a smoking bar or you have a smoking section in a bar. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's like their way around it. Makes sense. Yeah, I feel like the smoking outdoor laws aren't that crazy. 
that crazy compared to some of the other ones. I mean, if they did that in Florida, uproar. But some of these places that are like, oh, we're going tobacco free in 2030. Yeah, it makes sense for them because they're freaking liberals. You catch what I'm saying? Now I get it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to give like benefit of the doubt, like rate it by each place. Like if it happens in America, a total violation of the Constitution. If it happens in like, you know, Singapore. All right, I'll let it yeah, slide. A violation of my Constitution, which means they need some freedom. Sounds like another war is coming. All right, Tokyo. I just believe, you know. Tokyo. Everyone needs freedom. Tokyo. <laughs> Japan. It's very similar to a few ones we talked about before, right? So you can't smoke while walking through most of the city streets. So because fines will be imposed. Hmm. Another one of these distraction smokes. So I wonder if a lot of big cities are like that. Well, Probably. I, yeah, I think so too. Like, except um, New York. Yeah, except for Sydney. Except for <laughs> Paris, Yeah, I London. guess you can smoke outside New York. Yeah, I was just thinking of that. All the like cities that everyone wants to go to, yes, you can smoke in public. Yeah. All the ones that are like, you know, Sacramento, no one wants to go there. Well, yeah, think about how many Europeans smoke. You know, if you're yelling at, you know, all these tourists, like, hey, you can't smoke here, they're not going to want to come back. True. Yeah, you know, for sure. Especially if they're staying at a hotel in Manhattan, they got to go outside to smoke. Yeah. I mean, also, like, you know, how fast paced the city is. Like, what else are you going to do? You're going to not smoke cigarette? You got to. You got to. It's like part of the rules. I don't make them. You just follow them. Moving on. Beijing, China. Even more strict, you know. Are we no, I don't know. Can you tell us? Yeah, they have a ban <laughs> of smoking indoor <laughs> and public spaces. In, office spaces. Indoor public spaces. Yep. That's what it says. Okay. I'm just making sure that we get all the words in there. Yeah. You like to skip words. Indoor public spaces, including offices and public transportation. Which I think public transportation that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. And then, you know, reducing secondhand smoke exposure. Uh, one of the comments we got said secondhand smoking kills. So rightfully, I responded with, "What about firsthand smoking?" Makes sense. I said, "Does it? Yeah, it doesn't." I guess not. That seems to be the big issue: is secondhand smoking. Did they respond to that? No, I don't think they had an intelligent response for that. <laughs> so the problem isn't people smelling my smoke. The problem is they're not smoking. Right. Okay. Makes sense. But yeah, I mean, let's talk about this office thing, right? I think we should be able to light up a cigar in the office. I think, well, if it's a private business, there shouldn't be any laws regulating that. Facts. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, you know how like, much more I would stay at the office if I could just light a cigar in there? Facts. Yeah. Because then, then, you know what? Towards the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? Let me get a cigar while I finish coding or whatever. And then, you know, the 30 minutes I was supposed to stay ends up staying, end up staying another hour, hour and a half, you know, because I keep putting out yeah. my cigar code. Then, you know, I pick it back up, got to relight it. You know, it's just, I think it's better off for the company. True. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, you're going to stay there longer, do a little extra work. You stay for two hours. It might not be two hours worth of work, but. Even if it's 45 minutes or an hour of extra work. Extra yeah, work. Zach would extend his 12-hour days to 16-hour days. Yeah. Mm. And I only gladly, go home to sleep. I gladly work 16 hours. I mean, most of my time is spent driving to the cigar lounge. You know what I mean? <laughs> or driving to here. So it's like, you know, if I could just avoid that, I'm saving, you know, Gas. minimum. I'm saving minimum three, four hours a day. Wow. So what you're saying is the government... Is intentionally making our lives harder. They, they've always done that. Well, the Chinese government is. We're you know we're going to yeah, because we're talking about Beijing right now, you know. But the American workforce <laughs> needs to recognize that you know how more how much more productive would we be if we could smoke? Right. But also listen. Let's use this as an example. China is bad, right? China is bad. So why would we want to be like them? <laughs> what we yeah. should be doing the opposite. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, think about it like this, right? Construction guys, guys who work on the roads, who make bridges, houses, whatever. Important jobs. What are they backbone doing? Backbone of America. They are backbone of America. What are they doing? What are they doing on site? Mm, they're smoking. They're smoking. Pouring they cement. smoke on site. And who talks about the most hours a week they work anytime you see them? We do. Construction guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, but he's right, though. They're like, I worked Thank 16 you. hours yeah. today. You know why? Because they're smoking. True. They're relaxed. But, 
is it like you know efficient work i mean how long did it take to redo i4 Okay, I mean that that's a little different. It varies. Know, it varies. You know, they're like unionized, but you, uh, okay. you know, Whoa. you you get you go get to a house that's getting rebuilt. You could have a house rebuilt in like two months. That's true. You know what I mean? And they're all just smoking. You know, you tear down your walls, and then you got cigarette butts everywhere. I saw a podcast where uh, this guy was guessing how long it took to like <laughs> build a house, and his estimate was two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> oh, I saw that too. Yeah. Well, how big is the house? That's true. True. It could be like a Lego house. It was a ten by ten two story house. I think the average right now is like sixteen months. <sighs> average? Yeah. Wow. So two weeks? <laughs> is it because they're not smoking enough cigarettes? I think that's a reason. Or cigars. If it was cigars, cut the time in half. Think about this, right? You know, I've been watching Godfather lately. They smoke cigars all the time. Mm. You know. And and if you notice in the Godfather Part Two, right, they kept going back to you know how the family started this and that. They were smoking more cigars then. And you could argue, you could easily say that they put more work in at the beginning than they did after. Yeah. And you know they were more efficient with their work when they were smoking all the time. Well, think about it too. When you smoke a cigar, you become more relaxed, right? It's like recouping from a long day. So the next time you go to work. You have more energy now because you had rest and relaxation. Exactly. Exactly. That is. Yeah. I mean, smoke, smoke breaks. Yeah. Yeah. I got to have a smoke break because I got to come back and uh, be more efficient at work. So that, that's it, the it, thing, too. A guy that takes, let's just say, you know, I don't know, eight hour day, eight smoke breaks once every hour, right? 15 minutes. <laughs> I only get one <laughs> lunch know. break. Yeah, well, I know, but I'm just saying 15 minutes a piece, you know. That's two hours lost right there. Yeah, but those are cigarettes, right? So if I had a smoke break every hour for a cigar, <laughs> it'd be another hour. I'd be work for 16 hours. Yeah, but what hours. we're trying to say is let's just smoke while we work. Yeah. Eight hours saved right there. Exactly. Or make it acceptable where, hey, I could go outside for an hour and smoke because the cigarette people are already wasting two mm. hours of the day. So you just get, you get time. one break, but it's still the same amount of time. Exactly. Eight hours. Nice. <laughs> Jared, Jared only gets 20 minutes well, how break. are you going to smoke a bunch a whole cigar in 15 minutes on a cigarette break Jared I feel like you just don't listen to anything <laughs> we say on this legitimately, podcast <laughs> legitimately he is not listening to a word we're saying and then, and then or he, it's like every other word and then he's going to listen to this podcast on Saturday and uh, he's like oh True. I understood what you meant Mark you're not backing me up right now there's a reason why he's not backing you up <laughs> he hasn't said anything I'm actually what, what do you want me to say to that you're not, no, you're, no, not, no. you're not paying attention. <laughs> you back the wrong people up there, but <laughs> <laughs> Jared's like I trusted you. Now you no longer have my trust. <laughs> Crazy. He's, he's like, this is why I replaced you in family meetings. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he did click uh, trust this device on his phone. Though. I did not do that. Oh, there you go. Trust broken right there. Okay, so we're going back to Europe now, which is different from the UK. Yeah. Because of Brexit. I feel like this one isn't too much different, though. That like, isn't too crazy. I, I, I don't know what you're saying. I feel like this one isn't too crazy. Vienna, Austria, they implemented a full ban on smoking in all bars and restaurants in 2019. A significant shift in the city Boo. that once had a very lenient smoking laws affecting a traditional cafe culture that included cigars. I think that's outrageous. So you can't smoke in any bar or restaurant? You can't bar, do that, you can't okay, do that bar specifically. I know, it's outrageous. <laughs> we had all these bars we could go to smoke at, and COVID comes. Yeah, Green Pear, I used to love going to that place. I think the restaurants I get, but bars? Like, bro, you're going to go to a dive bar and not light up a cigarette? I will say, though, I do think cigars should be excluded from, like, the cigarette Yes, you know, it should, should be, be its own law. Yeah, completely different things. Like, if you're addressing smoking laws, you need a specific law for cigars. I agree. Because if I could have dinner and smoke, I would do it. Yeah, I would love it. Well, think about it. You'd stay longer. Probably spend more money. Yeah. Get more drinks. Two entrees. Maybe three. I was going to say two is a little light for you. That's why I said maybe three. Mm. Got to be inclusive to everybody here. All entrees are welcome. All entrees matter. 
So that was Vienna, Austria, to be specific. Real quick, I just wanted to say that this cigar, this um, Eora cigar has really good ash. Jerry, what are you smoking? Lagoa Cubana, Maduro. Wow. Of course. Zach, what are you smoking? I'm smoking the Besa cigar that's a uh, Besa Rothschild cigar. Wow. Yeah. Ditto. I would be smoking cool. that, but I gave it to you. So Thank you. I appreciate technically. That. I do appreciate that, too. Thank you. I appreciate that. So technically. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, Jerry's yeah. been loving those. Oh, I, thank you for bringing that up. So <laughs> I made an announcement today that I didn't tell anybody about. Uh, <laughs> I have three favorite cigars now. Besa, Patron 1964, slash 26, and this one he's smoking now. Did, t- did you tell him how you first picked up that cigar? What? How you first picked that up? <laughs> no, I didn't tell anybody about that. <laughs> Is it a story that we can talk about? Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be silly. You don't, you don't have to tell him. You don't have to tell him. I don't think I've ever heard Jared use the word silly. So, so yeah, it's definitely please silly. tell us. It's please a goofy, goofy little story. It's a, uh, <laughs> goofy, goofy, goofy goofing say. around, you know. Do you want to? <laughs> oh, he picked it up thinking it was uh, red meat lovers. <laughs> It does look like it. It does look like it. Like I mean, if you're like five accounts deep. No, they both have red on the label. That's the joke. I think it's technically orange. And it's on the, the same aisle, on the same it's row. It's not in the same aisle and the same row. It, w- it was at one oh, point. Oh, wait. Did they switch it around? It, w- it was. It was. Okay, okay. I'll, okay, okay. Thank you for backing me up this time. <laughs> Jared's like, I can't trust Mark, you know. <laughs> Mark's like the type of guy that's like, I'll back you up half the time. But the other half of the time, like, I can't be a follower, you know? You, like, you guys are all wrong. I back up the truth. All right? <laughs> okay, so half the time. Your truth or the truth? Th- mine. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Munich, Germany. Next. Munich. Otherwise pronounced Munich. Ban smoking in beer gardens. Totally <laughs> random. That's weird. A significant culture shift for the city known for its outdoor beer and smoking culture. Great point. Especially during events like Oktoberfest. I was going to say Oktoberfest. What a joke. Man, we got to go to Oktoberfest one year. Let's go this year. Yes. October is this year. Let's go. I'm just saying. Let's go this year. I know. Just Yeah, let's go. I had a friend that went to it and they, they said it was awesome. Yeah. And Germany's everyone, pretty cool, actually. Besides this law. Everyone that I've known... There, everyone that I know that's gone to Oktoberfest said that like they loved it. Can we get away with it because we're foreigners? I mean, they're but, really nice yeah, to I Americans guess. given their history. That's what they told me. I didn't say that. That's what they told me. <laughs> it's actually kind of a cool place. But yeah, like I think Germany is one of those countries though that we're gonna, they're going to go green by twenty thirty. You know, so this is like no, uh, no, they took that back. Yeah, I was going to say they scratched it out already. Well, only because they couldn't do it. <laughs> But yeah, so like this is a dumb law. They're like, why? They're like, why should we invest in that when we could put it in defense? You know, mm, <laughs> something smart. Yeah. Anyway, um, another place I've been, which I'm never going back to. Paris, Pass. France. <laughs> Pass. Paris has extended smoking bans to include parks and green spaces across the city. Aiming to reduce litter, like Mark said earlier, and to pre- <laughs> if if you're uh, listening to audio, Mark or Zach is waving the white flag. Um, aiming to reduce litter and protect health of the public in these communal areas, but literally everywhere else, they're smoking cigarettes. So if you don't smoke, you have to go to a park to avoid it. Interesting. See, I'm okay with smoke free spaces as opposed to smoking spaces like that may, you know like like safe space like we should just have smoke free spaces and not like smoking spaces you know i guess cuz probably smoking is a minority now in europe you think so just in not general in europe. Dude, well, we we're in croatia we drove by a high school and they're all smoking yeah you're right ballers i think no a hey, smoking I, I, right I, I know where your head's at like smoking's definitely not like it was in the 90s and the early 2000s yeah but i, I bet I'll, I'll be curious if the majority of people in Europe don't smoke. Look it up. I feel like it's still pretty high in Europe. Say, what percentage of people smoke in Europe? Rob, can you pull this up? That's a new intern. 
Pull up, uh, look at this, look at this. Look up um, percentage of smokers in Europe. Can you pull it up for us? Uh, nineteen point seven. Thanks for sending percent to that. Uh, of the EU population smokes daily. See how much? Nineteen. See, it's a minority. Uh, prevalence of smoking in adults is twenty eight percent. Okay, it's pretty high. <laughs> Still minority. So they included minorities at first. Er, minorities, minors. <laughs> <laughs> they included minors yeah. in the first. Percentage. It says uh, an estimated twenty six percent of people age fifteen years and older in the EU, or about a hundred million people, uh, are currently daily smokers, and about fifty million. Oh man! That's well, like, so that's, what that defines a daily deep. smoker? I guess smoking every day. Also, who participated in this? Like, we don't really know the true numbers. I think the true numbers are what we see. <laughs> it gets real deep after that, and it's like. About 50 million of these will die prematurely from oh smoking God. unless they quit. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's because they're not smoking cigars. What website is this? Oh, tobacco control. <laughs> ah, boo. Find another study. It's okay. We'll, 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 uh, we'll assume that Mark is slightly right. So that's Europe for you. Not to be confused with the UK. Uh, we have now other regions around the world. Because that's how our intern decided to compile it. Mark, you want to take a crack at that for? Yeah, I feel like this is pretty common though. Zimbabwe has very stringent advertising restrictions for tobacco products. That, that's kind of everywhere, which includes cigars. Unfortunately, yeah. The only part that's weird is this includes bans on public smoking events or festivals that might promote cigar smoking. Making it difficult mm. to hold traditional cigar events. So this is like any form of advertising. Yeah, but like over here, you oh, I guess can you? Well, no. I mean, it's it's only online advertising and like on TV and stuff. But you can have a billboard, mm. you know, or like a sign. This yeah. is basically saying no, nothing that promotes smoking at all. So you can't have an event like it says, or you can't even put up a sign or something like that. So if you had a cigar event in Zimbabwe, you just go there to pick it up. And go home. You can't smoke it there. Maybe it has to be an indoor event, and you can't have any signs. It'll be outside. members only. Yeah, mm. yeah. This actually just gave me a great idea for something I'll talk about later. Sorry, guys. Pay for the subscribers only, which we don't. Uh, boot, boot. How do you say that? Bootan, bootan, biotan. I don't know. Bun. Never heard of it. Bun. Anyway, it's a country. Uh, they took a radical approach on being the first country to ban the sale of tobacco entirely. Boo. Back in 2004. 20 years. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty crazy. That was 20 um, years ago, guys. This means that legally buying a cigar within the country is impossible. Although the law has been uh, relaxed slightly to allow controlled imports for personal use with heavy duties. So, damn. So you could buy cigars online as a user. Mm. Um from another country, but you're going to pay hella taxes for it. Dang. That's crazy. That's a crazy law. That's when I would fight the government. That moment right there. Yeah, that's like dumping tea in the harbor worthy. Yeah, for sure. But can't you just like rent an apartment on the border, send the cigars there, Yeah. walk across, walk back? But you got to declare it technically. True, because you have to go through customs. I don't even know where that country Immigration. is. Immigration. Where is that country? I have to look that up. <clears throat> Rob, can you pull up where Bhutan is? Uh, real quick, moving on to Honduras. Ali specific. That's what it says. But in Honduras, <laughs> there was only a law proposing... Wait, there was once a law proposing that people could only smoke cigars if they kept at least two meters away from non-smokers. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's in it's in South Asia, right next to India, Nepal, yeah, oh, okay, yep. and Thailand. Why are you saying yeah like you knew? I, I agree because okay. he's right, and I Google it myself. Okay, thanks, thanks for sharing. Okay, okay. You, you asked. You Google it. Google, I can't even talk. Google it. He Google it. Um, so you have to. This is like COVID. Two meters away from non-smokers. Uh, so like you have to ask people like, are you a smoker or non-smoker? Like you know, how does it go? Uh, this is particularly challenging to enforce in crowded spaces. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Just like COVID. They should make people over there wear a chair that says, not a smoker. 
Facts. Mm. Again, it would be let's like not those, target the smokers. Let's target the non-smokers. It would be like those cups with like the different colors of like mm. you know single. It's complicated. Taken. You know what I mean? Like red shirt means not smoker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black yeah. shirt means smoker. And then you know, it, just like those parties, you're gonna get the non-smokers talking to the smokers because they think it's yeah. cool. You know. Oh, so you smoke, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like to smoke? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but it just looks cool, you know. Oh, you got a girlfriend? Yeah, she's not here, though. And then, like, oh, that's so cool, you know. And then they <laughs> yeah. mingle, they hook up, and have kids. And then the kids are going to become smokers because they have the smoker gene. Yeah. Real thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but then... I'm wearing my smoker jeans right now. Yeah, and then the non-smoker guys look at the smoker guys and be like, be like I, I, I want to be like that. I just can't, though. I can't, though. I want to be like that, though. <laughs> Facts. All right, next we got Dubai. Crazy things happening in Dubai lately, by the way. Yeah, crazy. Uh, while it's known for its luxury uh, smoking lounges, public smoking is heavily restricted. Smoking, including cigars, is not allowed while walking in the street and even waiting at bus stations. See? Smoking must be seated in designated areas to smoke. So if you're walking and bring a portable chair and sit down <laughs> in a public space, you're not walking. Yeah, but, you are says, but you're not in a designated area ah uh, uh, where uh. is this dubai yeah what's going on in dubai by the way oh my god do they have like <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's been raining there non-stop and they're flooded yeah do you know like why though hurricane force winds do you know why it's been raining yeah harp wow someone played a harp what i i got a semi on that that was i'm impressed i'm really impressed you it wasn't really harp. They have like a uh... no, no. Let him keep going. You know, keep going. What is harp, Zach? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh my god. We ha- he had us there for a I, second. I, oh god, uh, I lost it. I it's because it. they do a cloud seating. <laughs> All right, there yeah. you go. I don't know what harp is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Project Zach you need to leave. <laughs> Project Bluebeam, essentially. Uh, mm, no, maybe is it part of it? One to fake it, one to make it, essentially. So what is anyway, cloud seeding? Cloud seeding <laughs> oh, is okay. the act of which you plant seeds into the ground oh my God. and they turn into cloud. No, honestly, cloud seeding is where they put uh, you know, something in the air to help the formation of clouds. And it could be like dust particles, could be, uh, you know, like, I mean, dust particles is like the most common, even just smoke, like smoke bombs. Uh, that would actually help cloud seeding. Mm. So, so it basically helps uh, combine the moisture in the air together to form these clouds. But the crazy part is with Dubai is they're getting like hurricane force winds and flooding when they did their cloud seeding. Um, so basically, when they changed the weather, they modified it too quickly, too, too many, fast, too many seeds, too many seeds. Yeah, and you, it's crazy because you see like. Uh, the water is rising, I think, like like five feet, six feet. Well, they have no drainage systems over there because it's a desert. Why would wow. they need them? Yeah. You know, like even their sewage, they have no sewage systems over there. All their sewage is carried out by truck. Ugh. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have like underground plumbing. So you know? Dubai is not actually one of the coolest places to move to right now. No, I think um, I think like total like 16 people died so far. From the oh. flooding. Rest in peace, but I thought it'd be more. Yeah, no, it, it gets pretty crazy. But then that also brings another thing. You know, they have the technology to disrupt these storms. So why don't they? Like, there's something called a hail cannon. Do you think it's Go on. A, do, you think it's <laughs> do you think it's an attack? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> there's something called a hail cannon um, that they've been using since, like, the 20s mm. uh, to help disperse clouds uh, in the air. And it's basically just a loud shockwave you know that will dissipate you know cloud coverage um and this is to stop or help uh like farms or you know yeah if you're growing fruit or anything that's kind of what its main use is for but, yeah but i feel like maybe in a city that might not be a good idea like why because in farms right there's no like windows and things like that there's no skyscrapers it, it's directed upwards so you could be standing next to it you'll be fine it would be loud but like it's not gonna break anything because it's if you look it up, it's literally maybe we could put a picture right here. It's literally just a huge cone faced upwards. I, I also feel like uh, 
It might be too big to do that. Like the storm might be too big. Well, you could hit it with a um, another hurricane that they made, like that goes the opposite way, and then it will just disperse. Oh, but you true. run a risk of it <laughs> combining. Combining. <laughs> oh my god! This is Which why is we should play God. No, I know. Well, it's true. Two hurricanes could orbit yeah. each other, and then they could end up combining into a larger hurricane, or it could <laughs> dissipate each other. So fifty fifty. <laughs> so you would have two eyes instead of one. No, they would just combine. Well, he was talking about how they, like... Yeah, they would orbit each other yeah. until they combined into one. Hmm. That would be crazy. Yeah. Uh, also, that uh, that streamer got arrested for a year. Oh, uh... Neon? Is Neon. Neon. Yeah, yeah. Why? What? Because he was filming out in public without, uh... Permission. Without permission, yeah. You need, like, a permit to film in public over there, I guess? In Dubai? Yeah. Yeah. So he got arrested with his girlfriend... And he's in there for a year. I don't know if she is too, but yeah, he's a year without bail, I guess, or however it works over there. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. It's yeah. crazy, right? He's you, a small you guy. You call like one of the Tates. So podcast in Dubai? <laughs> as long as you get a permit. And to, I'm sure it's like, okay, you can't talk shit about Dubai. You have oh, to, for like, sure. You know, yeah. You know what I was thinking the about first the thing day? I bring up is that building that looks like a cross. <laughs> like, <laughs> You know what I was thinking about the other day? Um, you don't see that many influencers like talk about Dubai anymore. So I bet Dubai stopped paying these influencers to talk about mm. it. Probably. Uh, I'm still seeing some commercials about it. You know, right? oh, travel Dubai, you know. But there was like one period in time uh, when... Well, like, they're probably still going to make money on it. Go ahead. Th- there was like one period in time where almost like every influencer was moving yeah. to Dubai. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of disappeared. It was definitely very popular on TikTok for a while. Yeah. But I think Dana White you know, was hosting UFC fights over there. And so a lot of people like Steve will do will go over there, you know, well, watch. They, they go over there, but like... <laughs> but they're, they're, they're filming inside, though, yeah, not and, outside. And didn't they just buy the PGA? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah. No, was it Dubai they, or was it Saudi Arabia? Well, the United Emirates. Yeah, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, isn't yeah. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, like, in the United Arab Emirates, right? Or no, is it separate? It's like the whole England versus UK versus Europe thing. Yeah, the UK is a country with five countries in it. I don't know. Well, there was that one soccer player that lived in Saudi Arabia for a while because he got signed for like three hundred million. Yeah. Yeah, those golf guys were pissed when that happened. Yeah. Great. Why is it not switching? Well, I don't know. Go back to me. Anyway. Just exit those, out. Sabotage. Exit those, out or back again? Those golf guys were pissed when it happened. Uh, because they were offered like, yeah, same thing, like 100 to 300 million, uh, to play golf for their league. And they're like, like, no, like, you know, we're tried and true PGA. Then they went to the PGA and they're like, Hey, we turned down this offer because, you know, we have faith in you guys. We trust you guys, whatever. Um, and then fucking PGA sells out. So they're like, what the hell? They're like, well, can we get our salary? And you know, they're like, no, you denied us. (laughs) Like, yeah, I'd be pissed too, man. That's on them though. I mean, like, if you want to be like, I get it though. It's like, like you, all right, like, like I'm American, right? I don't want to go. I don't want to go to this fucking league. You know, I don't yeah. buy these United Emirates. Yeah, I'm mashing all over the place. Yeah, it's clicked. I don't know why. Our technology wants to be weird today, but um, and then and then it's like you almost get punished for it, right? You want to finish out this last one? Oh. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to? Do it? You want me to? Sure. In Cuba, um, this seems not too outlandish, actually. Um, you're just not allowed to smoke in hospitals, schools, or buses. Uh, it reflects a broader trend of increasing restrictions in places traditionally tolerated of smoking. I mean, yeah, it's not really crazy. Yep, not really. Not very crazy at all. Nah. I, but, but yeah, they, they tried to do the. It's like the whole. Uh, well. But being out of Cuba, it's crazy because they're all scar smokers. Which yeah. isn't true, but you know. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, hospital for sure, I feel like that makes sense. I feel like most hospitals in this country and probably around the world are like, you can't smoke within X amount of feet of a building or, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, schools, that makes sense. And buses, I don't know about buses themselves. Like, bus drives by, I gotta put it out. <laughs> but I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure if you're on the bus. Yeah, for sure. 
But it says, um, smoking, yeah, smoking in hospital schools and buses. Okay, I, I read that wrong, but you're right. Okay. So that was uh, some crazy laws, some not so crazy laws, but that's the laws. Pretty so. much, yeah, smoking laws around the world. Better make sure you follow them. Uh, yeah, make sure you know where you're at. Make sure you're following local regulations. And if um, you're in Bhutan, I feel bad for you. Yeah, and if you live in one of these weird places with really strange laws, maybe consider, I don't want to say the word revolution, but like, you know, maybe go to your <laughs> local congressman or representative, wherever you are, tell them that this is messed up. It's uh, segregation against uh, people that smoke. Because um, we're human too, you know? So maybe superhuman even. But <laughs> Any last words, guys? No. Have a good day. Okay, have a good day. Take care. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in, guys. Awesome. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short-form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. Welcome back. That's good. Welcome back to another episode of Cigar Guys. Everywhere we go, we heard a lot of. We're happy you came to. Uh... Welcome back to another episode of Cigar Guys. Everyone, we're gonna have a good episode today. We're gonna be talking. We'll be. We should get like hidden mics, but then like pretend like we're speaking out of an unplugged mic, so people like call us out. You know. Like, God damn, I fucking hate my producer. He's such a piece of shit. And then like, oh, it was caught on camera. Oh. I felt a little real. Yeah, that felt personal. Alright, we started? Alright, someone yeah. cue this. Cue. Uh, I, 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 I never speak in the beginning. Today is the first time. I fumbled, I fumbled my words. <laughs>